Do you know how people fall into sin? Lost. Any act of sin is a function of loss. When you gravitate towards the desires of that dimension of loss, be it immorality, be it materialism, be it arrogance, be it pride, when you gravitate towards that dimension of loss, you become a victim of the sin of that loss. There are people who are crazy for power. They'll do anything for money. So money doesn't come. What do you think that the rich people do? They can tell you their story and all they went through. What are they going through now? They sit down and they maintain a level of wealth. Those who pursue it never get it. Proverbs 23 verse 5. It says, and wealth, riches, carry wings and they fly. They make themselves wings and they fly. In 1 Kings chapter 3 verse 10, 11, 12, 13. It says, and, the, and the speech, please the Lord, that Solomon has asked this thing. Now look at what he said. Verse 11. And God said, because thou hast asked this thing and has not asked for long life. What did he ask? A discerning heart and wisdom to know how to lead God's people. He said, thou hast not asked for thyself long life, neither asked riches for thyself, asked the life of thy enemy, but thou hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Look at what the, a man asked for and see what God said in verse 12. He said, behold, I have done according to thy words. I've given thee a wise and an understanding heart so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee. What is that? So even though you try to operate in any dimension, God said, no, there's a demarcation placed. I put a restriction, you can't be more than Solomon. Or after thee, like unto thee. Go on, verse 13. He said, I have also given thee what thou have not asked, both riches. So in the sight of God, riches, honor, wealth is nothing compared to a desire for a discerning heart. Riches, wealth, honor, fame is nothing. God said, I give you a key. Pursue these spiritual things. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first. You came to church late today. Why? Because you can't pay your rent. You think, you, you are not in this generation we are talking about. You are not in the realm of those who are intimate with God. Something bad happened. You say, Lord, but I prayed. So you are praying because you are trying to navigate your way out of crisis? No, sir. No. My prayer is because of my fundamental love.